So you may have heard that Dragon's Dogma 2 has no fast travel in the game, and that's not entirely true. There are a couple ways you can speed up the travel time across the map, which you'll appreciate more and more the further into the game you go. However, if you're familiar with the first game, you'll know that it's not as simple or as unlimited as many other games out there. Here's how it works. In Dragon's Dogma 2, there are two key ways to fast travel, or travel fast if you will. The first is by ox cart. At most settlements there will be a waiting post for the ox cart. Think ye olde bus stop. Interacting with it to wait will have an ox cart arrive, in which you can speak with the driver and pay for passage. Hop aboard and then you can either sit down and watch the scenery, or you can click doze off to skip the journey entirely. However, ox carts are prone to monster attacks, so even if you skip it, you can be interrupted by some enemy encounters. Defeating the enemies will make the area safe again, and you can hop back aboard to continue the journey. But be careful, as some bigger enemies may put a more permanent stop to the cart. If it gets flipped, you can turn it back over, no problem. But if it gets destroyed, or if the ox meets its end, well then you're walking the rest of the way. Unless you have the second means of fast travel, which is the Fairy Stones. These are items you can use to warp to a port crystal in one of the settlements. Well, the one in Vernworth or the one in Half Village. You can obtain port crystals that you can place down over the course of the game, a couple from quests and one from a late game NPC merchant, and these can be placed wherever you like, so you can walk back to them at a later time. In which case, putting them in the remaining settlements makes sense. You can also purchase them as microtransactions, but nobody cares about that and it's incredibly useless to do so, so ignore that entirely. Note, however, that fairy stones are limited, and while you can purchase more of them, they are usually 10,000 gold each. By no means cheap. So while this is the best means of fast travel, it's best to save them where possible and use the ox carts for major travel. You should still explore on foot as much as you can. You'll find plenty of quests and locations to uncover, but once you've walked the same road five times, one of these methods will look a lot more enticing. 